good morning my hotties it is monday morning not gonna lie i kind of didn't want to do anything today but i have to give anyway i got a depop order on friday i don't ship over the weekends because i take my weekends for myself to edit my videos to do all the behind the scenes stuff for the next coming weeks today i have to drop off an order so yeah i want to find her top get it all packaged up and then we're gonna see what item i'm gonna start with sewing this week so see you guys need this or should i use sushi yeah i want to eat sushi right now so i'm gonna eat sushi right now Um, I'm coming in to check in I haven't recently because ever since my birthday I've just been freaking exhausted but not too exhausted where I don't want to sew but last night I started working on this top I'll make sure to put it in and um, yeah I got three pieces out of it so far I still have these scraps to figure out what I want to do with it it could go with another project I'm not sure but okay so this is the top that I made I added like a ruffle trim around it I really like the back how it goes up I think it'll be so flattering with like a backless top so that would be cute or like a little bralette I really like that I'm still I still want to see what else I want to do to it but I'm not sure yet so there's that piece and then I made two of these halter tops with the little heart in the middle so yeah I made two of these halter tops and it also has the trim at the bottom uh, so yeah I thought this would be perfect it'll be cute it wasn't my original idea to go with but it still worked out very well I just have to make straps and then I'm finished with the top and I just have to sew these straps onto the silver detailing I have on here and that's pretty much it I'm in love with this I've been loving shrugs like everybody has and yeah I'm gonna try my best to make many many more and I also have my tag on there I left on the who is she JM collection whatever vintage top it was I left the tag on there on these pieces though it will just be my tag my name so that's what I'm working on and I'm gonna be watching one piece so enjoy Not his funky ass research. <laughs> Not gonna lie, because I didn't pre wash my birthday outfit fabric, that leopard print fabric, it got all over my white everything. It's in my bathtub. It's in because I had to shower after I came back from the club. And it's on my door from my fingers. It's all over my sewing machines. Like both of them. I got black on everything. I know it only takes like acetone. Or you can use like peroxide and Dawn dish soap, so it'll come off. But that just reminds me that I need, I have to pre-wash my fabrics. So I usually do it anyway, but I was in a rush. I just picked up that fabric from downtown like the day before or something like that. So it was just like clutch. But anyways, baby, you don't know what you do to me between me and you. I feel a chemistry. Oh, good morning good morning guys you know how i straightened my hair for my birthday for some reason not for some reason but my hair is just so soft right now anyways I finished. 
Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's a halter top. I added this little silver detailing right here. You have these straps that go around your neck. You have some lettuce hem right here. It's a really nice ribbon. And this is what the side looks like. This is what the back looks like. I use scrap fabric for this part as well. Okay, so here you go. This is the shrug that I made. I also added the same hem around the entire shrug. I think it's really cute. It has some heart detailing right here. If you guys could see that. And yeah, I think it's really cute. I love the way my tag looks. I put my tag on top of the other tag that's usually on here. So that's what it looks like. It's super cute. Also, I saw these charms on Shein that they're making new, um, that they're making earrings out of them, like the same ones I make. And I was like, damn, I really need to get my charms like made. I need to get some unique ones. So I'm going to be working on that. So today I have a Depop order um, and I want to fulfill it. I have a cheetah tank top. This Y2K cheetah tank top. I guess whomever this is, they like tank tops. I have this one. I think it's by Fredericks. Yeah, it's really pretty. I have this one as well. I love this one. It's so nice. And I have this one they just bought it yesterday and I really want to get on my packaging again so I'm gonna be shipping it out today <laughs> Okay, so my plan for today is I want to make a dance outfit. So I've been making a lot of Y2K wear and that's great, but I want to do a Y2K piece then a dance piece because I like both. So we're going to do both. Um, I'm not sure which dance piece I'm going to do first. I have to see. What are you all standing around for? What's that? We're in the middle. I think I'm going to start by trying her on and then hemming her up. Even though she's not perfect, she's a little messed up, but I'm going to finish her anyway because she'll still be cute. Take if I wrote you a symphony just to say how much you mean to me. If I told you you were beautiful, would you date me on the regular? Tell me, would you? Well, baby, I've been around the world, but I ain't seen myself another girl like you. This ring here represents my heart, but there's just one thing I need from you. Say, I do, because I can see your soul in me. So, have you had enough yet? I put it on back. <laughs> so, I attached my my tag, but I put it on backwards. Next time will be better. It was my first time ever doing that, so. Period. Okay, so I know it's not perfect. Excuse my bed hair, but I know it's not perfect, but I love the way I lined this. So I wanted to show you guys. This is what the jumpsuit looks like. Yes, it's similar to the one that I made for my birthday. This one, I'm sure you guys have seen it already because this video came out already, but just in case if you're new here, I made this for my birthday. I think it's really cute. I like how low it comes down because I can wear my belly button piercing. But I just lined it in red. You can see right here, I'm still learning how to attach my bias. Um, but it's still super, super nice stitching. I think it looks really good. This is the part. 
bad. Damn. This is cute. This is really cute. So I'm going to make more of these. I'm also going to make, I want to make some shorts. I want to make some leg pieces. So I'm going to be doing that with my cheetah print fabric today. So I'm glad that I started off with this one because it gave me an idea of what I want to do. But this is fire. I got to show Instagram. Be right back. you go oh you know how i've been living without you daydreaming on a cloud with you like i'm rising with you tonight you got any better ideas well that's crazy they can't be serious Fuck. then i'll leave it to you to climb up there and stop luffy he won't listen <laughs> So I know I look crazy. Oh my, my camera's gonna die. I wanted to really fast let you guys know that I'm gonna make a mini skirt. I have my pattern right here and it's gonna be out of this like little velour scrap fabric I have. And I'm gonna do my favorite little fold over. So it's gonna have a fold over in the front and that's pretty much it. I was just thinking I wanted at least one of these to have a bottom to it. That's the only scrap I have left. So I was able to charge my camera and I wanted to show you guys um, what I made. I literally finished this so fast. It's so crazy how fast I'm able to finish items now. But to go with one of the tops, I made this mini skirt. There we go. I think it's so cute. It has the yoga fold over detailing right here. This is the last of the scrap I have. I mean, I have other really small pieces, but I'm going to save that for like an actual item where I put all my scraps together but I think it's really cute I added this little bow from my scraps I thought it was a really cute little aspect to it and we're gonna put on my mannequin so we can see how it looks yeah yeah okay So I have it on the mannequin, guys, I'm excited. It's so cute, let me show you. So here's the top with the cute detailing, I love it. I also added the little ruffle trim right here. The back of the top, so cute. The tag, so freaking fetch, I love it. Oh, I also love these little details. And for the skirt, of course when she's on an actual body it looks different I tried it on it's really cute but I think it's easier to show on here so yeah I have this little piece it also has the ruffle detailing I think it's so cute it goes with the Y2K vibe there we go and I also have the ruffle trimming Here's my little hand stitch bow. If they want to take it off, they can. It's really easy. I only did a couple stitches, but it should lock in there, even if that's the case. So there we go. And it has this piece as well. I'm going to sell it separate. I'm thinking I'm going to add like little diamantes to it. I think that would be really cute. So I'm going to do that and then come back most likely. It's way too close. Okay, so what's up my hotties? I am sewing something new, but I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't been like on updating you guys. So I am sewing this top and I'm going to make it into a tube top. I'm working on my tube top right now. I have the pieces right here. I have this purple bias binding that I'm going to use and it's a really pretty purple. It matches with the little circles on here and I made... I'm making this all I have to do is just bias bind it like bind all the way around it and it's gonna be one of those like little shrugs like this let me show you yeah it's gonna be one of these 
I like that. Um, of course, I'm going to add my flair, but I'm just going to let you guys know what I add to it. But that's pretty much all that I'm doing. And I'm most likely going to do a lot more to this, but I just have to figure that out first. So, yeah. That's it. <laughs>